In front of a crowd of high school students in Moscow's Gorky Park, the popular Russian singer who goes by the name of Shaman belts out one of his patriotic anthems. It's called I'm Russian, and lyrics include I'm Russian in spite of the whole world. It's part of a patriotic movement that's led to student groups popping up on university campuses. I think in, in hard times, the nation should always um, should stand for, for one idea, for, for one mission. And... Maxim Lukianenko is taking part in a hand-to-hand -hand combat tournament, an event arranged by a patriotic group he helped create last year. He admits the group, which at times dresses in military uniforms, has drawn the ire of some on campus but insists the controversy has driven others to join. One of their events included raising money to buy drones for Russian soldiers. I see a real increase in patriotism. And so have some Russian researchers who've conducted in-depth interviews with citizens over several months. They've dubbed this group the New Patriots. So Russianness started to matter. Svetlana Erpileva says the new patriots might not like the war, but since it started, they've found ways to justify it. They do not really believe that Russia's victory will bring real positive change in Russian society. They just feel that if Russia loses, uh, it will be much, much worse. Others reported feeling a surge in support for their country because they feel like so much of the world is against Russians. Marina Gretsenko falls into that camp. I didn't really agree with what's, with what's going on in the beginning. Because... But the sociology student told us she feels more patriotic now because of reading hateful comments directed at Russians online. About me, I know lots of people and I see lots of people on the internet who are saying, well, I used to support Ukraine, but I see they truly hate us. A year and a half on, some young people are rallying behind Russia because they believe their future will look much brighter if the country is victorious. Briar Stewart, CBC News, London.